Uh, yeah, he is. He has a fracture in his uh, in his fingers here. Um, so we'll see what we have as the week moves forward. Um, um, it, it doesn't totally rule him out. It's something that you know is a pain tolerance thing. Um, so we'll see. You know, as as the days unfold here of what we have. How much swelling is there in there right now, and and how much is that a part of it to see if he could? Yeah, some. I'm not sure exactly on the swelling, but a little bit. Yeah, it's probably your best defensive first baseman going into the postseason, just without him potentially. How big a loss is that for this yeah. team? Yeah, I mean, no question. You know, I mean, he's come back and and done a really good job for us. You know, obviously, kind of helping anchor our defense, and I feel like he's been giving us really good at bats too at the bottom of the order. So. Um, you know, we'll we'll see what we have though moving forward. I don't want to jump to anything. We'll see, you know, how he how he responds in the next, you know, several days, obviously before we, you know, kick this thing off in a week. Worst case scenario, if he's not able to go, do you feel comfortable with Oswaldo Cabrera at first for the, the Yeah, and we got Ben Rice, you know, that's that's playing really well down there and uh obviously has gained some experience up here, so he could be in the mix too and um you know, we'll see. Greg, he's a guy that that's been hit by a lot of pitches. When he was jumped in pain immediately, did that kind of give you some concern that how how he reacted to it? Not really, because he does that sometimes. And so I was, but once I got out there, I knew I knew um, you know I knew he was hurting. And then, but as you know, as we were out there for you know whatever sixty seconds, ninety, he he felt like. Oh, it's feeling better, feeling better. But then kind of testing it in between innings with his glove on, it just didn't quite feel right. So I had to get him out of there. Which finger was it? It's the right here, these the fourth and fifth right there. Tom to the left. This was Hill's last performance of the season. Evaluated season, particularly in the context of what you were expecting when you started spring training. I mean, great. I mean, he, you know, I think blew past probably all of our expectations you you know weren't really sure what to expect going into spring training other than the fact that you know we we knew obviously a young pitcher in our organization with a lot of talent was healthy and back um you know how was that gonna uh, you know that might have you know initially i thought he'd be in triple a and part of the rotation and see and you know as i said kind of just kick the door in in spring training and you know, took advantage of an opportunity and, and, you know, has put together a really, really strong season. And, um, you know, one of the, one of the reasons that we're in this position right now is, is, is the season that Luis gave us. Anyone up there to the right? What did you see from Heel today overall? I mean, obviously the long ball got him. Um, um, you know, in and around that, I thought he was pretty good. You know, had swing and miss, um, was pretty efficient. You know, I think the one homer, to, the la the last homer to, to right was kind of a elements, you know. I think he kind of sliced it up in the tunnel. There were a couple home runs that moved kind of funny today. Um, so that probably got him there. But the long ball got him on a couple of look like mistakes on some uh, – the Grandall one ambush there early, you know, whatever. And, and then – the couple after that, uh, it looked like he, you know, hung secondary pitches and they took advantage of it. You've talked about, you know, constantly evaluating guys in terms of the postseason because of the elements today. Is a day like today easy to dismiss when making those evaluations for the postseason rotation? No, I don't know. I mean, I, look, I thought uh, one of the things I liked about Luis today is that he, you know, was in the strike zone and efficient and had some swing and miss. Again, a couple pitches that kind of wrecked his outing a little bit. But, you know, I thought overall it was pretty strong. Um, you know, it, it was a, it was not a great day to, to play, obviously, for both sides and offensively, defensively, and, and on the mound makes it a little challenge. So, but I, I thought overall he threw the ball okay today. And then just it was only two innings, but what were your impressions of Skeens? Yeah, pretty, pretty dynamic. Um, you know, I think the ease with which he does it, you know, he's uh, – you don't feel like he's, you know, max effort out there. It's just kind of easy velocity that he can step on the four seam, you know, sinker, 
change speeds on you really well. And then I think because he does it with ease, it lends itself to him having real good command with it. And that's, that's what kind of showed to me. Brian. Two things. You said fourth and fifth. So yeah. it's that two fingers that yeah. fractured. And then um, Ben Rice came up and helped you out last time Rizzo was hurt. Would he be in consideration? Sure. Yeah, he'll be in the yeah, definitely be in the mix. And and he's gone down and played really well again uh, this last month in Triple A. So yeah, he would definitely be in the mix. Max, I know this is very fresh, but it's been a rough year for Rizzo with the previous injury that he had and some mm -hmm. of the results. How is he taking this? Um, he's he's actually right now I I think pretty upbeat and like. You know, I'll be okay and want, you know. So we'll see, though. You know, we'll see how the week unfolds. Again, what, what his tolerance is, what's realistic. Um, but right now, I think he's just trying to have a, a positive frame of mind about it. And, and, and you know, as Dr. Ahmad said, this is an injury that lends itself to once you, you know, pain tolerance thing. It's not something that, you know, you, you're in jeopardy when you play. It's just can you, can you handle it?